Hello, everyone, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards, and in this lesson, number 183, I'm going to talk about our latest book, Headfirst Software Architecture. You can get a listing of all the lessons I do in Software Architecture Monday on my website at developer2architect.com slash lessons. So I'm very excited that our Headfirst Software Architecture, which I'm actually going to show you right here, it actually is a live and in the wild book. <laughs> I was very excited to get the printed copy. Um, this was just recently released um, with my co-authors uh, Raju Gandhi and also Neil Ford. And I provide the links uh, both in Amazon and also on the O'Reilly Learning Platform. Now, you're probably watching this saying it still shows it on pre-release. So uh, know that the actual physical copy uh, is here <laughs> and that it should be released in the next week or so. I wanted to talk about uh, this book. Um, I haven't done an actual lesson on the release of any of my books, but th this was two years in the making. So we're quite, um, well, um, uh, proud of this accomplishment and very excited that it's now released. Um, before I show you a little bit about Head for Software Architecture, I wanted to show you some interesting things on the cover. Uh, just a few Easter eggs. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that uh, this, uh, this woman is holding up uh, uh, a platform with the three of us. And as a matter of fact, you can see um, there's uh, Raju, um, there's myself, and there's Neil Ford. And so that's kind of the first little Easter egg. Um, but also in her pocketbook, she's actually holding um, our fundamentals of software architecture, which I'm actually going to talk about in a little bit. But in that book, we coined the two laws of software architecture. And as a matter of fact, those two laws are depicted in the cover of this book. Uh, the first is that everything in software architecture is a trade-off. So we have the little scales there of balance, uh, but also the platform that we're all standing on, that why is more important than how. So just a couple of the Easter eggs in the uh, cover just to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> You may be wondering, how does the Head First Software Architecture book compare uh, to our prior book, The Fundamentals of Software Architecture? I want to talk a little bit about those differences. Part of that difference between these two books is just in the style of learning. Uh, the Head First Software Architecture book, and specifically the whole Head First series, is a very graphically oriented way of teaching. Uh, whereas our Fundamentals of Software Architecture book is a, a very more of a traditional uh, approach to kind of learning uh, where we have a lot of diagrams and a lot of, of text. But also uh, we were able in the Head First Software Architecture to add things that weren't in our Fundamentals of Software Architecture book specifically things like the difference between architecture and design. Uh, we went a lot deeper into our two laws of software architecture, as well as uh, diving a little deeper in terms of architectural characteristics and kind of classifying those. Uh, we have a chapter in the, mo uh, uh, in the Head First software architecture book about modular monoliths, which didn't make it into our fundamentals book. And uh, we completely took a different approach when it came to describing microservices and also event-driven architecture. Now, one of the differences you'll see in the Head First book is a lot of characters. Um, uh, there's characters asking questions and having conversations between themselves. Uh, certainly, there's a lot of text, but not a whole lot of text. Um, it's more describing software architecture through diagrams and a lot of exercises and kind of things like crosswords to kind of, well, have a little bit of fun, um, but also uh, enforce uh, that learning of these hard concepts. So what I want to do 
is kind of show you the inside of this book and talk about each of the chapters very briefly. And what better place than chapter one? So let's get started. <laughs> uh, chapter one really describes the definition of software architecture and how software architecture differs from design. And in here, uh, we meld a lot of metaphors uh, to really strengthen that concept of what software architecture really is about. In chapter two, we take a deep dive into architectural characteristics, uh, those illities, and we form classifications, which I think you'll enjoy um, because we have kind of the zoo of characteristics. And um, we have a lot of fun with this book in terms of describing some of these fairly difficult concepts. But here we do dive pretty deeply into all of these kinds of characteristics. Uh, chapter three is really devoted to trade-offs and specifically our two laws of software architecture. Everything in software architecture is a trade-off and why is more important than how. And so we illustrate both of these laws through chapter three. Now in chapter four, uh, we start embarking on what it means to build a software architecture. Uh, those logical components, the building blocks of an architecture in here, uh, you can investigate what it really means to build an architecture component and what it means to build a logical architecture and, and how it's reflected actually in our source code itself. Now in chapter five, we talk about now architectural styles and go through a classification, uh, something that we didn't do a lot of in our fundamentals of software architecture book. And as a matter of fact, we talk about technical versus domain partitioning, uh, mod uh, monoliths <laughs> versus distributed architecture, and kind of those core differences um, between all of these different kinds of categories and philosophies. Then the rest of the book is do uh, basically dedicated to uh, five different uh, architectural styles. In the first or the next three chapters, we really focus on uh, the, the uh, monolithic architecture styles. We have a chapter dedicated to the layered architecture. We have a chapter dedicated to modular monoliths and also then a chapter dedicated to microkernel architecture. And we have a lot of fun showing these kind of architecture styles and metaphors and uh, through graphics. Um, it's quite, quite fun. Now, we do have something unique in our Head First book that isn't in any of the other Head First books. We had quite a challenge because we're not coding or learning a programming language. Um, we do have exercises, plenty of exercises, but we wanted a way to bring everything together. So we came up with this idea of do-it-yourself chapters. Now, chapter nine is our do-it-yourself chapter where we introduce an architectural kata, a problem. And this entire chapter is for you, the reader, to go from start all the way to finish and create an architecture using a monolithic architecture style. Then we switch over to the distributed architectures. In chapter 10, we talk about microservices and also chapter 11, event-driven architecture. Now we take a different approach with these two chapters than we did with the fundamentals of software architecture, diving a little deeper actually into each of these architecture styles, showing also where they happen to intersect and the differences between micro, uh, microservices and event-driven architecture. Then we have another do-it-yourself chapter um, written specifically for you to be able to create a distributed architecture for another kind of problem. Now, every head first book finishes with the final chapter, the leftovers. And these were six topics that we didn't have a chance to dedicate an entire chapter to. Uh, things about, for example, 
uh, soft skills of architecture. Uh, and we did focus a lot on those soft skills in the top six topics we didn't cover in the book. Now the Head First book is very graphic and I would highly recommend the printed copy of this. Um, it just, it goes together so much better than the online version that I've actually been looking at. So um, enjoy reading this and um, uh, very excited about the release of this book. So uh, thank you so much. This has been Lesson 183, kind of uh, getting excited about and introducing our latest book that we just published, Head First Software Architecture. Uh, enjoy reading and thank you so much for listening. Uh, stay tuned in two more Mondays uh, for the next lesson in Software Architecture Monday.